For the last problem, we want to verify this identity. So once again, I'm going to expand this out and try to turn it into negative sine x. So I'm going to indicate which side I'm using. It just happens to be the left-hand side again. And now I'm going to use the cosine sum formula. So the cosine formula says it's cosine of the first thing times cosine of the second thing. And if you're adding on the inside, the identity says you subtract, right? And now it's sine of the first thing, sine of the second thing. So cosine of pi over two is zero. So this whole term goes to zero and I'm just left with this. Pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so it's negative 1 times sine of x, and now I found the right hand side and it's equal. So once again, it is purely coincidental that I only use the left hand side to start on these, but all I would have to do is flip these around and say negative sine x equals this, and I still would have chosen the, the, the side that I picked the equation to start with every single time because it's much easier for me to break down something complicated and reduce it, right, or combine something into a single term and reduce it down than it is to try to expand um, something as simple into something like this.